Welcome back, Mongo Fix. Well, Mongo at it again with their filter stuff. So, it, you know, six months later, and time to change the filter on the back of this guy. She pretty dirty. Yup, just a bit. And those little cardboard fin things work out good. We got a nice central area of filth and crud. But Mongo have a new idea. Gonna try out, new experiment on these guys, see if can make it even better and more efficient. Get all this tape and stuff off here, get this filter out of here. It always cool to see the difference between the super dirty one and the fresh, clean, new one. Just really need to see. Good to see how much junk actually getting pulled out of them filters. People gotta stop talking to the lumber guy. Just getting a little bit out of control. When it says 20, it should be 20. Just using the Merv 8, cause of course filters, as they get dirty, they actually filter better. Because they're getting clogged, you could say. So, you know, whatever size microns or whatever that these things let through as they start catching crud and dirt they get clogged and they actually filter more so uh, probably after a month or so your merv 8 suddenly becomes say a merv 9 and a 10 and whatnot and as it goes on so if we look at the back of our fan here it's still pretty dirty there's still crud getting through mongo noticed you know the fan short circuits quite often So as that filter gets plugged up, this gap here between the fins and the edge of the fan, it allows air to come in through there and around to the back to move. So you, that's like a short circuit for a fan. For starters, we'll get this back grate or cover off this fan. Clean up the fan just a little bit. Of course, once you get a filter on the fan, you really don't need the backside, do you? We get some wipies here. These ain't nothing more than just pamper sensitive wipes. Safe and good enough for a baby humanoid. They're safe and good enough for, you know, fans, electronics, a whole bunch of other stuff. You know, Mongo use baby wipes, clean all sorts of stuff just because super easy, super convenient, and safe. Yeah, that's just a lot of crud. So it definitely seem like dirt and stuff bypassing, short circuit and whatever. Stuff still getting in there. Let's face it, it's probably the most well taken care of Lasco fan on the planet. And we'll go ahead and take the front face off this fan as well. Give her a deep clean. And if you didn't know on some of these, not all of them, some of them, this fan blade will pop right up. Just like that. There's one flat spot in there. There's one little flat spot on there. Sometimes there might be two. Just depends on the fan. Sometimes there's a clip. Other times it's a molded piece. There's no way that thing's coming off. Mungo put this cardboard ring in there a couple years ago. And it worked pretty good for getting pretty close to these fan blades. Mungo got a new idea. Want to try and totally close these up. But without just like some goofy tape and stuff. We'll get all this cardboard ring out of here. It mostly just pressed into the sides. Nothing fancy. A little tape. So now we like starting fresh pretty much. In essence, kind of like a brand new fan. Get a little piece of paper for a template. Slide it under there. Should be the same all the way around. And we'll mark out the edge, because this outside edge should follow the inside edge pretty good. Then we're going to try to trace the movement of the fan blade. Something about like that. pieces cut out, kind of placed in, do a little adjustment just to make sure they can swing good, and now we'll glue these pieces to the side and get some of this uh, Loctite power grab all purpose. Uh, Mongo used before and a couple insulation job type things, they kind of goofy, so this stuff worked pretty good for foam and whatnot. And push down and it start applying it kind of like a caulk.
The nice part, it start grabbing pretty instantly. What's Mongo want for these goofy shapes? Well, we let that dry all night, nice and stiff and hard now. That should greatly reduce the amount of short circuit potential for the fan. Hits the fan, fan blades, and it's about quarter inch behind the fan blades. So not too worried that this part here isn't filled in, because any air from back here would just be coming through the filter. That spin around, it don't hit the foam anywhere. Little bit of a gap. So Mongo gonna leave the back cover off the fan this time because filter blocking it. So no reason to actually have the rear grate because there's no way to get your fingies in there. And remember which way the air filter, airflow go. Now it's ready for another six months. Got the nice clean air filter on the back. Arrow's going the right way. Sealed all the way around. Just a couple modifications this time, right? No rear grate, because we don't need that extra resistance. Got her cleaned up. We got our airflow short circuit prevention devices in. So she's ready to rock and roll. Now if you want, Lasco actually make fan now with a filter on the back. It got like a big plastic thing in the back and it unsnaps at the top, tilts back, and you can slide a one inch filter in there. But these fans suck so much. A nice two inch filter, give you a little more surface area, a little more airflow. That way the pressure drop not too bad. And still, last go for their filtered fan they want like 65 to 80 buck depending where you go and so far this one still $20 fan $10 filter and a big roll of painters tape that lasts a super long time so you're only 30 bucks maybe 40 into this do-it-yourselfer and you can see from the earlier pictures, they actually work really well. It's an option if you want, but Mongo will stick to the do-it-yourselfer. And of course, Mongo will keep you posted on how these little short circuit, airflow short circuit prevention devices work. Well, if you like this video, be sure to like this video. If you like this video and other videos from Mongo Fix, be sure to subscribe. Mongo is working on all sorts of stuff. Mongo, thank you.